Hey BeCommerce Store Owners, in this video Justin will be showing you how to improve your YouTube video rankings so you can drive more traffic to your BeCommerce Store. Hi, this is Justin from OSI Affiliate Software and today we're going to be looking at how to improve your YouTube rankings um, so that you can drive more traffic to your YouTube videos and in turn to your e-commerce website. So I have this sample video already up and it's been up for a while just to show you a good example of how you can um, optimize your videos. So first of all, let's look at all of the metadata. So I'm on the edit page right now looking at the info and settings and I can go ahead and change things like the title and the description. So as you can see um, in my title what you're looking for is something with keywords but also something that people are willing to click on. Top free games is searched very often on YouTube and I wanted to rank for that so I included it in my title. However including the word best or 2013 is also helping me because not only are people searching for it, but it also entices people to click on the video. Now, one thing I do recommend is do not make your title misleading. Um, if it is misleading, people will exit the video very quickly, and if they do that, that can actually hurt your rankings, but I'll talk about that more later. Next, I have my description. Um, so, some people think that for their description, they need paragraphs upon paragraphs of text. However, this is actually not true. In fact, YouTube doesn't even look at a whole lot of the text in here. What I recommend is having some sort of link right at the top. Um, this will drive a lot of traffic to this link because people won't have to look for it. It will be right there on top. Next, have a paragraph, just one paragraph, describing your video. Um, I recommend something around two to four sentences. You want this paragraph to contain a lot of keywords, especially the ones that you're trying to rank for in your title. So, you know, uh, free games is, um, it should be in here. Yeah, here we go, best free games. Um, and then I've got other keywords in here, such as iPhone, iPod Touch, um, other keywords that will help me to rank for other searches. And of course, you'll want to mirror these important keywords down here in your tags. And last but not least is your thumbnail image. Now, not everyone can add their own custom thumbnails, but I went ahead and I made one. Uh, it's actually very easy to make just in a simple uh, image editing software. All it has is a screenshot of my iPhone playing a game, and it says best games. Um, I can choose from one of these three thumbnails. Um, all of them look very clear, um, but do make sure that you pick a good thumbnail because this is actually very important. It's one of the first things that people are going to see and respond to whenever they're trying to click on a video. So engagement on a video such as likes and comments um, will really help with your YouTube rankings. One of the ways you can increase these is just by asking within your video for people to like or comment on your video. For instance, at the end of a video, of a video ask your audience a question uh, to get people to start talking in the comment section. The more comments, the better. Also, you can ask them to like your video at the end. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, people are more than happy to go ahead and like your video if it is a good video. Just say something like, hey, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. It's that simple. Now, you can also increase engagement by using something called annotations. Now, annotations aren't enabled on all platforms. Uh, for instance, if you're on an iPhone, you're not going to see annotations, but most desktop viewers will see these annotations. So what I can do is I can scroll. Um, I can pick, you know, maybe like at 4 minutes and 11 seconds, I can add an annotation asking for people, um, you know, asking them a question about the game that's playing. So I could, I could add something like a speech bubble have it point um, you know to the iPhone itself I can type in my text here so it's just a very simple question do you like Temple Run um, and then of course I can change you know the the font now one thing with annotations is you don't want to make them super obtrusive don't add you know four or five annotations just in one screen people will get annoyed and uh, even you know go to a different video because of them so but anyway you can just mess around with the settings here find one that you like I'll go with this one and uh, once you hit save and publish it will be on your video 
Um, you can also ask for likes. You can ask for people to share. Um, with these annotations, you can actually add a link if you would like to link to you know, your channel, uh, the subscribe button, etc. Another thing you can do within the info and settings option is add your video to a playlist. I recommend creating playlists on your channel for several reasons. First of all, playlists are a great way to organize your channel and they allow for people to see all of your videos on a certain topic in one area. So if I go click on add to playlist, uh, I've made a few different ones. Um, I could do, um, I'm going to put this one under my software review playlist so that people can, you know, people looking at software will see these applications. Now this also helps a little bit with search engine optimization within YouTube. Um, so I would definitely recommend making a bunch of playlists and adding every single one of your videos to at least one playlist. One of the most important metrics on YouTube is something called watch time. Watch time is the amount of time that people are looking at your video. So if we go over here to analytics, we can actually look at our watch time. So I'm going to go over here to audience retention. Um, and I, I can actually select a certain video. And now that I select a video, it will show me how long people are spending on my video and where people are leaving my video. Uh, these are actually really important metrics if you want to see, you know, what's the best part of your video? Where are people getting bored? And um, this can actually really help uh, for you to understand, you know, what you can improve. Now, one interesting thing about YouTube is that over here in average view duration, they care a whole lot more about this metric right here. Um, how long people are watching your video a lot more than the percentage of time that they are watching it. So the average person watched 38% of my YouTube video. They don't care about that. They want to know how long they're watching the video. So that means that if you make a longer video, um, you're not going to be at a disadvantage. In fact, longer videos might actually do better if you can keep people watching for a long time. Uh, YouTube looks a whole lot at uh, this view duration because they want to because typically good videos are going to have a better view duration. So right here is absolute audience retention. Um, this will just show me how many people were on my video at what time. Uh, relative audience retention will show you um, how it performed and com uh, compared to other similar videos. For instance, you know, right here, a lot of people were watching. That was apparently a very entertaining part of my video. Uh, meanwhile, over here, uh, people were getting pretty bored. Uh, so this just gives you some really good metrics um, as far as, you know, um, who's watching and for how long. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, this is Justin from OSI Affiliate Software. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to check out our other videos about e-commerce marketing.